I got a new camera a few weeks ago and this is the first camera I've owned that's had interchangeable lenses so it's also the first camera I've owned that's had a large shutter on it instead of using just the iris like a, a point and shoot would and it surprised me how fast that shutter actually moves given the surface area it's actually covering so using my high-speed Casio camera I decided to see how fast is it really moving this shot taken at 600 frames per second shows a one-tenth of a second exposure by the Sony camera so I'm gonna count the frames here and see how long it actually took it took 60 six hundredths of a second which if you do the math works out to one-tenth of a second which is exactly what it should be the next thing I took a look at was the continuous shooting mode Sony says that this camera will take a continuous six frames per second so I'm gonna put it into continuous mode and take a look at that with my high-speed camera I'm gonna start counting frames when the shutter opens for the first exposure and then stop counting frames when the shutter closes on the last of six exposures So it took 172 frames longer than I expected it would. That works out to 1.29 seconds to take 6 frames. So it's not quite as quick as Sony quotes, but it's still pretty fast. The last thing I wanted to see is how fast does that shutter move in a straight line when it's going up and down in front of the sensor. I filmed it again at 1200 frames per second and knowing that the sensor is 15.6 millimeters tall I'll be able to calculate the speed of the leading edge of the shutter as it's moving up and down in front of the sensor. It only takes the shutter 7 twelve hundredths of a second to travel the 15.6 millimeters which works out to 2.7 meters per second.